Cliff and Sujin, we're finally here. Can you believe it? <laughs> when I reflect on how God has created both of you, I think of total opposites. Sujin is spontaneous, humorous, and lighthearted, while Cliff is generally more lacking in exuberance and more methodical when he communicates. Even with movies, your tastes are different. Sujin's favorite movie is The Joker, while Cliff loves The Dark Knight. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> Sujin, you are the one that you thought you would never get married because you enjoyed your freedom and independence. And Cliff, well, he's always been the opposite. He's always dreaming about his future wife since he was a young man. Sujin, you are a special person. Not only because you are an amazing vocalist with a big heart to help children, but because you are God's answer to many nights of prayer from Cliff. You are the perfect person for him. Cliff, how handsome you look today as always. Your gentleness, compassion, and open heart are rooted in your trust and confidence in your Savior and Lord which has allowed you to be a trusted friend to those around you. I believe we see a glimpse of God's heart when you serve and dream for others. You are always imagining, dreaming, and implementing what the Spirit stirs in you. Hi, Cliff. Thank you, Suja. I, Sujin, take you club. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, till death do us part. Till death do us apart. Cliff, it's time now. <laughs> You've been waiting for all day. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to, present to you Mr. and Mrs. Cliff and Susan King. Cliff, and we all know Cliff is a dreamer. Cliff is always dreaming about that perfect someone. And so when you finally meet Sujin, he doesn't just go crazy for Sujin. He goes cray cray for Sujin. Like I've never seen anybody go so crazy for somebody before. Right now. So right when they met, um, I had planned a guy's trip out to Catalina Island. Little did I know that there was going to be somebody else that was going to be joining us on this trip, AKA Sujin in spirit. Because right at the outset of the trip, Cliff changed his preferred pronoun from I to we. And I was like, who is this we? Like, well, what are you, who, who's this we? None of us knew what this we was. Oh no, we don't 
Cliff would find every single opportunity to talk about Suju. Instead of talking about how beautiful it is or like how like we're, we're you know, triumphing over like a really tough hike, he's like, hmm, I wonder how Sujin would like this hike, right? Or like we'd be like in town and then enjoying some ice cream. And he's like, man, I want to plan some day trip activities here for Sujin and I to like go on. I'm like, that's great, bro. <laughs> like, she's not here right now, right? And we coined the phrase, all roads lead to Sujin. Because no matter what we talked about, no matter any topic, it was always going to go back to Sujin in some way. And that's when I knew that Cliff super truly loved Sujin. <laughs>